Vaccination. We credit Edward Jenner in 1796, but Africans were doing it a hundred years earlier and Europeans learned it from them. Follow Afrothrone TV because African medical innovation was centuries ahead. In West Africa, communities practiced variolation against smallpox long before Europeans. They would take material from a mild smallpox case and introduce it to healthy people to build immunity. This wasn't guesswork. This was documented medical practice passed down through generations. When enslaved Africans were brought to the Americas, they brought this knowledge with them. In 1721, an enslaved man named Onesimus taught his owner, Cotton Mather, about the African method of inoculation. Mather was a Boston minister. When a smallpox outbreak occurred, he convinced a doctor named Zabdiel Boylston to try the African method. It worked. People who received the African inoculation had a much lower mortality rate than those who didn't. But here's where history gets rewritten. When Edward Jenner developed his smallpox vaccine in 1796, he got the credit for inventing vaccination. European medical texts rarely mention that the practice originated in Africa and was brought to Europe through enslaved people's knowledge. The same pattern happened with other African medical practices. Herbal treatments, surgical techniques, pain management methods. Africans discovered compounds that are still used in modern medicine, but the credit went to European doctors who discovered them later. African vaccination, a century before Jenner. Follow Afrithrone TV for the innovations they stole credit for.